יום יום. A person's service of God has to be according to his character and his, his natural personality. Some people are experts. They can, <clears throat> what is it, polish pearls or precious gems. But instead, he works at baking bread. And it's a, a simple job. A person that can be a brain surgeon should not be a floor sweeper. Even though they're baking bread or sweeping the floor is a necessary thing, and it's it, it helps mankind. But this person, it's almost like having a, committing a sin. He could have been a brain surgeon, and instead he decided to take the Izuru out and to be a floor sweeper or whatever. So if so, it's not. So therefore, what's the point? You have to use your potential to <clears throat> the maximum. That's today. Now we go to tomorrow. <clears throat> this Shabbat is the last Shabbat of the month of Nisan and we bless the next month which is Iyar we wake up in the morning we say uh, the, all of the Psalms and we make up for bringing from a speech of my father this is the previous Rebbe speaking about his father the Rebbe Rashab, the fifth Rebbe of Chabad Hasidut demands that you there is a sentence that says, "Luchatzes Baserovi Al Bishem." It's this way. It says by the whole, the high priest, that he has to wash his flesh. It means that he goes to the mikvah and he puts garments on when he's going into the holy of holies and coming out. He has to change his garments. So it says he washes his flesh with water and put on the priest the garments, priestly robes. And so it says like this, understanding the ideas of Hasidut, understanding the ideas of Hasidut, <clears throat> this cleanses your flesh and rinses away your habits. Understanding the ideas of Hasidut, how close God is, how infinitely powerful God is, how infinitely kind God is, to feel all these positive things about God, this should cleanse your flesh and rinse away your bad habits. Your habits are, are alluded to by the word et. Wash, wash et basaro, his flesh. The word et is really sort of not necessary. Why is the word, it says rachatz basaro, what does it mean? What et means all of the things which are additional to yourself. They're not uh, part of your essential being. The habits which your body develops and your bad negative character traits that you have received from your surrounding, from your upbringing, whatever, after you get rid of that, then you can put on the sacred garments. When people think about Hasidut, they discuss the ideas which are mentioned in these Maimorim that were just written. For instance, we just read about the mercy of God, how doing a commandment can elevate a person tremendously, like a, a fresh cedar tree. We said, <clears throat> by contemplating before davening, thinking about God, these are the garments. They're garments which were given from the highest of sanctity. In other words, you can think. Thinking is a garment of your soul. But it's the person himself who has to wash himself with water. So the garments that you get from the rebbies, the rebbies, they give you the thoughts about <clears throat> God, and God also fills them up with meaning. But first of all, you have to prepare yourself by washing yourself. It says in getting rid of your bad character traits. Then that the ideas of Hasid would become meaningful. The garments of the soul are given from God, but washing away your bad and incidentals, your, your negative, unnecessary character traits, which come from your nature <clears throat> and, and making your flesh sanctified. This is just set, words in the sentence with the, that the high priest has to do. So the Rebbe says that Hasidut 
is the Rebbe is explaining that these things which the high priest has to do is really relevant to each one of us. He says the high priest has to wash his flesh, wash his body, and then put on holy garments. Washing your body means getting rid of your bad character traits. That you have to do on your own. You have to do the effort. Can't be done for you. <clears throat> but the garments that are given, the holiness that comes afterwards, that's what Hasidus demands. It's for this that our great teacher, the Alter Rebbe, devoted himself totally and selflessly. He opened the channel of total devotion, sacrifice for serving God through prayer, to be bound up with the essence of Ein Sof, the essence of God, infinite God. And it's now when you pray, you can actually think about the infiniteness of God, how infinitely, infinitely far God is from the spiritual worlds, and how infinitely, infinitely close God is to us our, in our physical world. He cares about this world. Hasidut plays as, as Hasidut, Hasidut, the teachings of Chabad, put the Hasid face to face with the essence of Ein Sof. And I was feeling how far God away is and how infinitely close God is. God is creating me. He gave me the commandments and he reacts to what I do. When you think about, I'm, I'm actually praying to the creator of the universe and he really cares. He's listening to my prayers. And this is just amazing. We have to think about it. We have to think about it. And the thoughts don't really take meaning to us. They don't really become meaningful thoughts unless we cleanse ourselves a little bit first and get rid of some of our egotism. Okay, as I said before, I'm, I want to tell a story now. On Sunday, there will not be a class in the morning. There will not be a class in the morning. Either I'll give the class later on in the day, and I'll put it up on YouTube, and etc. Okay, now let's do the story. <clears throat>